Hello. My name is Tegan and I'm very excited for this video. So I'm doing a full face of e.l.f. makeup, eyes, lips, face. And uh, when I say full face, I mean everything that I'm using today is by e.l.f. I feel like I could find some wins today that don't break the bank. The only thing that I'm not gonna be using that is from e.l.f. is going to be lash glue and a lash tweezers. Let's get started. <laughs> I'm going to start with the e.l.f. Glow Radiant Moisturizer with Coconut and Hyaluronic Acid and, most importantly, SPF 15. And I think I'm going to leave in the, uh, the opening of the packages because some people find that as like a nice ASMR. Ooh, this packaging is beautiful. I think this is one of their newer lines. Um, very refined packaging. I like it a lot. I also have the matte blotting mist. Uh, this has kaolin clay in it, which is, I believe is supposed to help draw out impurities, I'm pretty sure. So uh, things that I'm going to be using to prep my skin today, I got the, the primer, the spray, and also a moisturizer because I feel that my makeup goes on the best when it's nice and moisturized. Let's test this out. It smells like sunscreen. I guess it kind of looks like sunscreen too. Uh, so I'm gonna spray this on. There's a little ball in there because actually when I first bought it, the clay was collected at the bottom, which I thought was really cool because then you could see that it was in there. So I'm gonna shake it up again. That sprayer is pretty intense. Okay, so that's that. <laughs> uh, so nextly, uh, we are going to go into the primer. it's nice and clear I think this might be kind of pore filling too I wonder Ooh, it's an instant grease feeling okay <clears throat> lots of breakouts right now but that's okay we'll be able to test the foundation and concealer so there's kale and clay and tea tree in this. Not hating anything yet. So I'm going to apply this uh, Calm Balm. This has the hemp, it's hemp derived. Everything is hemp derived nowadays. A lot of chapsticks actually break me out. So I wonder if this one's gonna break me out. Break, they usually break me out on my lip line. Doesn't really have a smell. Mmm. That feels really nice. Now we have the e.l.f. primer. Eyeshadow primer. Eyeshadow primer. And everything I believe is uh, cruelty free, which is really cool. I like to see that. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, because I like to apply my primer and everything with. Uh, my sponge so I did get a uh, face sponge from elf because I need I was due for one anyways and I wanted to see how theirs works it's about the same price as the real technique real techniques one so I'm, I'm assuming it's not too much different I mean I don't know how different you can make a sponge okay I'm gonna go wet this I'll be back this one feels a lot less dense than, I don't know, I just like the feeling of this and it's a really pretty color. Also what I noticed and I, that what I really liked is they have a whole range, like a lot of different types of face primers. Mm. So one reason why, 
So I usually don't tend to get lower priced foundations just because I have such acne prone skin and I like to put foundations on that have skin loving ingredients in them. Like I think I heard Tati Beauty say that this breaks her out if she, or it was, I think it was one of Elf's foundations that it breaks her out if she wears it too much. So it just like, it freaks me out because I already break out. I don't want to break out anymore. I'm giving it a shot. This is the first time ever that I'm trying a lot of this stuff. Oh, I wish you could have heard the whole thing. I'm hoping this is the right shade, but if not, whatever. I don't really care. I want to go really full coverage to see what we can do. That looks pretty good. That's a pretty good uh, shade, ma shade match. Uh, but there wasn't a heat. When I was looking for foundations, I was at Walgreens. I went to four different stores for this video for to get, I just wanted to make sure that I was seeing the most range of e.l.f. products because not every store is the same. So when I was at Walgreens, that's when I was looking at the foundations and there wasn't a huge shade range, but there was, I mean, I found my shade. Feels creamy. Ooh. Okay, it has fragrance in it. Ooh, that covered up my... This sponge is like so fun, it's so bouncy. Hmm, how am I feeling about this? It's working well. Right now I'd say it's like a uh, medium coverage, but we'll see if we can uh, build it up to a f uh, medium to full coverage to full coverage it's, I don't know it says medium coverage okay so they're not wrong I would I would agree that this is medium coverage I'm liking this sponge I don't know if I like it better than the real techniques one though for some reason but this is the first time I'm using it so this is technically a full full face of elf and first impressions because most of the stuff I have not used before okay so I do have a concealer okay 16 hour camo concealer so I got this in light peach I did not tell you what shade I got my foundation in I got it in the color is 220 beige and that seems to I'd say that matches me pretty well Camouflage those pesky spots and under eye circles. So this is supposed to be high coverage. Increase resistant. We'll see about that. Um, I feel like I'm rubbing a, a bunny rabbit's foot on my face. Okay. We'll put some of this on my eyelid. I put way too much on. <laughs> okay, something weird's happening. It's sticking to some areas on my skin. It's starting to look a little bit patchy. Let's see if we can kind of fix it with our finger. I mean, some things just don't apply the best using a sponge. So I usually always try to use a sponge just because it's my favorite method, but sometimes the warmth of your finger works really well especially under the eye the, de the foundation definitely has a cologne smell um and because i can still smell it on the the sponge it smells good but i mean i feel like it could definitely give somebody a headache the concealer is just just kind of smells like paint so Okay, I don't know. I'm not like super obsessed with it. It is like, I just don't like how patchy it's being. So I am not very used to cream blushes, but I got one from e.l.f. It is the monochromatic multi-stick. It says it can be used on the lips, cheeks, and eyes. But I'm just going to try it on the cheeks. I've been looking for a nice peachy blush. So we'll see and I guess you'll oh my gosh look how cute that is it's so tiny 
Ooh, it's shimmery, so I think I might keep it at the higher points of my cheeks. <laughs> Should we go in? I think it is kind of messing up the foundation. Maybe it's just the... Okay, I wonder if you can see that, but it's making the foundation underneath or maybe no i think it's the actually the concealer it's making it uh patchy again <sighs> come on uh, maybe i should have used this on my bare skin i don't know okay well it's patchy and what are you gonna do let's put on eye primer Oh, this is so cute. That creaseless concealer is creasing. Drink more coffee. Everything's going to be okay. Ooh, that uh, chapstick doesn't taste very good. What's next? Let's set our face. Um, so I have the, I have the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. I think they have a few different shades. This one is in fair slash light. I don't know how I feel about this brush anymore or this sponge anymore. I don't know. I feel like this one sucks up a lot of product. And the Real Techniques one doesn't really do that. Uh, so let's put on our powder, bronzer, and blush. So I got the, I remember this being $3. So that's a pretty reasonable price. This is bright pink blush. Yeah, because I need a little bit more something, something on my cheeks. You can still see a little bit of that. Mm, barely. So this will be good. Let's get out our brushes that I bought. So they have a few different brush sets. I chose this one just because it seemed like it, had, it would have everything that I would need. Uh, yeah, Flawless Face six-piece brush collection. So here's this. I think this will be good. Oh, this is a nice... I like this. Uh, I could do for a fluffier brush for my uh, blush, but I think this will do. Oh yeah, I definitely would rather use a fluffier brush, but it's okay. They do have fluffier brushes. I just didn't feel like buying one. Okay, that's a pretty, pretty blush. I mean, this is the same type of blush I always use. I always use a bright pink because I just think it looks so pretty and flushed. So yeah, you could keep building this up, but I think I'm going to stop there. We have the Bronze and Sculpt Bronzed Beauty Bronzer Palette. So I don't know. I kind of feel like all these shades look pretty similar. Now that I'm looking at, I mean, they're a little different, but there's two shimmery shades and two matte shades. I usually like to use matte shades when I am... I wish that this was in a box. I just, I hate opening plasticky stuff because I feel like I'm going to cut myself. And, you know, environment. <laughs> okay, yeah, they look different in this light for sure. That's quite nice. I don't know. 
I think I'm going to use the lighter shade for all the other parts of my face. Oh, this like really scratches away. There's, <laughs> I think that was the brush's fault. Yeah, we're going to go on with this other one. Other brush. Not bad. I feel like I would uh, reach back for this. So let's use um, this loose setting powder. I'm going to do what I usually do before I do eyeshadow, which is put a layer of loose setting powder under my eyes just to catch any fallout. And maybe that'll help our under eye patchy situation. We'll see. So this is the Halo Glow setting powder. Put that down. My favorite part is next, which is going to be the eyes. And I have two little eyeshadow palettes. It's the bite size eyeshadow palettes. Um, I first saw this one thinking I would do kind of like a more, I don't know, subdued look, but then I saw this one and I fell literally in love. Let's open it up so you can see it a little bit better. This one is called the Carnival Candy Bite Sized Eyeshadow. Wasn't that just amazing? Yeah, so I fell in love with this color story because of this beautiful blue holy macaroni and I just love how they paired these colors with it so then I also picked up the uh, liquid glitter eyeshadow in ocean eyes I just feel like this will be beautiful on top of this blue here so let's start with the fluffier brush oh quite soft good and I am going to go in with this one this lighter color. Let's see, I wonder if this will have any depth to it. Okay, so this is quite light, so I'm actually gonna put this all over the lid. All right, so let's go, so this is quite dark. Usually I'll go in with a little bit of a lighter shade to start my crease, but let's give this a go. Blends out pretty well. Okay, that's a pretty color, I like that. It's a very warm brown. So that's gonna go beautifully with the red color. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go in with that blue. Oh, I hope this is as beautiful as it looks in the pan. I'm packing this on the brush, cause here we go. Okay. Yeah, I think that's gonna build up nicely, but let's, it's building up pretty good okay I think I'm gonna grab that red and put that in between those two colors I don't know. I feel like these are kind of hard to work with. Maybe I'm just not used to these colors, but I just am kind of kind of having a hard time. I really don't like these this brush for this. I'm going to go against what I was saying and I'm going to get a fluffier brush. That's not e.l.f. I don't feel like I really need to. I'm just testing the products. Let's grab a fluffy brush that I have and see what we can do. This is a fluffy brush from Mask. Uh, just I just like how flimsy it is. Okay, so uh, that's a little bit better. But let's go back in with the packy brush that we got from, oh, this is considered a concealer brush, but I'm gonna use it on my lid here to pack some more of that blue on there and brighten it back up. 
So it's about good. And I'm gonna call it good on this for now. And let's move on and see how this liquid glitter eyeshadow performs. Ooh, this is nice packaging. Oh, that's pretty. We're just gonna go right on the lid with this. We'll go right kind of in the center and see. Use our finger. Okay, um, that's pretty, I mean, it's not my most favorite thing ever. Okay, yeah, we're going back in here. I'm gonna help blend that out a little bit with this blue. Yeah, let's clean up. We'll use this stippling brush. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe away that powder. Okay, still patchy under there. <laughs> That's okay though. I was kind of wondering what I should do in the inner corner, but maybe we'll just go on with the lightest shade and brighten it up a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna try it. We're gonna do some eyeliner now. So this is the Expert Liquid Eyeliner in Jet Black. Okay, let's see what type of applicator is on here. Okay, so it's a, what is it? The brush, I like brushes. I used to be intimidated by them for some reason. I used to like uh, felt tip brushes better, but um, I actually really like this type of brush now. Okay, so let's, do a winged liner. Okay, that is pretty good. I like that. Seems to dry down matte and that is my favorite type of finish for a liquid liner. I dig this liner and I would buy this again. You know, I actually don't mind this look. It's a lot different from what I normally do, but All right, let's do eyebrows. I'm very excited. Ugh. That lip balm is tainting the taste of my coffee. Still good. I'm very excited. I've been into the more sculpted eyebrows lately, and I feel like I might be able to get a more precise eyebrow using a product like this rather than using a... Uh, what do you call it? Like a eyebrow definer, like already like in a twisty uppy thingy. I use the NYX one, but this one's more like a brow pomade. It's the Lock On Liner and Brow Cream. This is a medium brown. So I'm going to use the brow definer that came in that pack. Also comes with, these are about the same, aren't they? Okay, so let's do our brows. For a while, I was more into the more natural look, but I'm moving on. 
Let's see how this performs, man. Okay, it's soft. Ooh. I feel like that's a nice color too, because my hair is like a dirty blonde, light brown. I like darker eyebrows. Let's start with less product, just to kind of map everything out. I like how I've been liking a really sharp tail lately. There. Hmm? Hmm. Quite a difference. I also got the Wow Brow in taupe. I got this in a lighter color. Because I didn't want my brows to be super dark, which they already are. Let's see. I wonder how... Yeah, it's nice and light, so maybe this will save the day. So this... I Yes, this is a fiber gel, so... It's going to have little fibers in it. Oh, that is so weird because it just doesn't look right. It looks like it already was used and there's a bunch of little brow hairs in it. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely going to lighten this up a little bit. Okay, this color, I think would be nice if I wasn't going to fill in my eyebrows or if I used a lighter because they're way too different <laughs> so I got the metallic flare highlighter in white gold I thought this was going to be really pretty I wonder how it's going to come off Let's just put it on. Oh, I don't really have anything to use. Let's just use the side of this brush. Once again, it's still patchy in this area, so it's going to be hard to tell the beautifulness of it. Oh, this is pretty though. Wow. All right, let's do lips. I got the uh, Seriously Satin Cream Lipstick. And this one is in, what is this in? Oh, it's just called Cream. I think this is, I think that's the name of the color is Cream. So I wanted to go for a no more nude because I knew I was going to put the blue on my lids. Let's try it. My lips are like really crusty right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how I feel about nude lips on me, but let's top it off with a lip gloss because that's what I usually like to do. This is the, uh, I think it's, okay, so this is the lip lacquer and this is in Fantasy. thought this was a really pretty color and I feel like that would, this would pair really well with the nude. I don't know man this lipstick is like really maybe it's not meant to be paired with a lip gloss because I feel like it's just kind of like falling apart so let's try the mascara so this is the volume plumping mascara oh wait let's do eyelashes first because it's so much easier to put eyelashes on when there's no mascara on so I'm kind of nervous about these eyelashes, TBH, because the lash band is so thick. So very thick. I'm going to need to grab some scissors. We're just going to roll some lip balm. Alright, let's give these a shot. skin is so damn patchy I can't handle it this is coming right off when I get done with this I actually like these lashes I should have put this one a little bit more this way but what are you gonna do 
Let's try the mascara now. I don't know, it seems to work good. I feel like I'm not really picky with mascaras. A little bit of blue came off on my lid, so I'm gonna just put more eyeliner on. When in doubt, liner it out. You guys, I think that's basically it. This turned out decently. I am digging the eyes. They're a little bit messy. Lashes could have been put on better. Uh, but I really, okay, so I really like the eyebrows. A little dark. But I think if I use a little bit less product of this, I would like it a little better. And I hate the concealer. I'll just be honest. I really don't like it. And I'm never using it again, I don't think. We should always give things another chance. So maybe I'll give it another chance. But holy moly, it made my everything look like shit. The foundation, actually, I do like the foundation. It was a perfect match. And it, it blended out very well. It had a nice medium coverage to it. I do worry that it might break me out if I use it repeatedly. I love the uh, the skin prep kind of products. The spray, the, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. You definitely get that dimethicone feel. I don't know how I feel about this. But we're gonna try it again. But I do really like the spray and the SPF moisturizer. Um, I'm gonna spray my face again. Oh, this is really intense, right? I wish it was a little bit more finer of a mist. It's a little intense. The droplets are pretty big. You can see them every, I don't know if you can see them, but they, it is, yeah, it is not a nice fine mist that I like. I really like the eyeliner. I will repurchase that. Mascara is fine. Not picky with mascaras. I do really like the chapstick. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the, the glitter. It wasn't the best blending out, but I think it could be worked with. So overall, I am not overly enthused, but there was some products that I do really enjoy. I do like the uh, the loose setting powder for under the eyes. I feel like that would that'll be a a nice dupe for the airspun Cody airspun. I can't remember how much this was, um, but I love the Cody airspun because you get a huge thing that lasts forever and it's not really that expensive. Uh, what else? The highlighter is very pretty. It doesn't look very pretty right now because the concealer made everything look really patchy. Bronzer is nice looking. I'll probably keep using that, trying things out with it because I mean, yeah, probably try the, sh the shimmers out at some point. So yeah, I'm really happy that I got to try all these products because I bought all these products myself. This isn't like a sponsored video. I mean, this is my only second video, so why would I have a sponsored video already? But I'm just saying that, yes, I did buy these things all myself. All the, everything that I said about it is 100% true. And I, um, the eyeshadows aren't, they, they're, they're good, but they're not like amazing. They don't, I think it was just the brushes I was using in the earlier part of this, but I'm excited to try this other Bite Size Beauty palette. Because these are all really pretty colors. They do have pretty eyeshadows. How do you think things turned out? If you have any e.l.f. favorites, let me know down below. Just so I can try it. Because there's so many. They have a lot of different products. They have a lot of different primers and setting sprays. They have a lot of skincare now. I feel like that's a little bit of a newer thing for them. But I would like to try more. I would like to try new things. Because I do love a good affordable makeup that works well. Uh, and that's about it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching and staying here to the end. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!